the ballot unit has the following parts interconnecting cable ready lamp green slide switch panel 16 candidates buttons and lamps ballot paper screen rear side compartment for housing connector the interconnecting cable is a protected cable measuring about 5.5 meters in length one end of which is permanently attached to the ballot unit the other end has a nine pin mail connector with a hood for connecting it to the control unit by matching the red latch of hood to the female connector on the control unit the ready lamp glows green when the ballot button on the control unit is pressed to enable the voter to cast his or her vote it goes off when the voter casts his or her vote the top cover of the ballot unit is opened by pressing latches simultaneously the latches are located at the top and bottom of the right edge of the unit the slide switch inside the ballot unit can be operated to set any of the four positions 1, 2, 3 or 4. When only one ballot unit is to be used, the switch is to be set to 1. Similarly, if two ballot units are used, the switch in the first ballot unit is set to 1 and the second ballot unit is set to 2 and so on. Like this, a maximum of four ballot units can be connected to accommodate 64 contesting candidates. There are 16 candidate buttons in a ballot unit, one for each candidate. Every candidate button is associated with a masking tab. The buttons not required to be used should be covered with their associated masking tabs. The voter records his vote by pressing the candidate's button, blue button, against the name and symbol of the candidate of his choice. When the button is pressed, the arrow lamp, candidate's lamp, on the left side of that button glows red and the voter's choice is recorded. The ballot unit has a provision for inserting ballot paper in which the serial numbers names and symbols of the contesting candidates are printed. A transparent acrylic screen, ballot paper screen, protects the ballot paper. 